Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 4.41 p.m., and it's Sunday, March 19th, 2023. This is my first video I filmed in, like, a week, so you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, a week ago I filmed the original version of this drink that I'm going to be reviewing today. But today I'm going to be reviewing the Zero Sugar version. I finally got it. Um, I could find it a few weeks ago, but I didn't get it, but then it quickly sold out, and I had to wait for them to get another shipment in. Um, I couldn't find the bottled version of this drink, because, yeah, it's still hard to find. Um, I guess it's hard to find, like, all over, because on eBay, the Zero Sugar version is, like, almost $10 a bottle on eBay. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to be reviewing the canned version of it today. Anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing the new Zero Sugar version of the new Strawberries and Cream Dr. Pepper Soda. So, oh, yeah, boys, look at that can. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I got um, a 12-pack at um, Walmart. It was $6.48, so I guess okay priced. I remember um, a few years ago when the 12-packs were only like $5. So, um, yeah, they went up in price, you know, because, you know, inflation and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's a little bit more expensive now. But I um, guess not too bad, though. See so you know what I mean? Um, but, yeah. Yeah, and I shaved like two days ago, but um, anyway, it's the silver top with the silver tab. Bombs like the um, production code, no best by date. It says Dr. Pepper, established 1885 strawberries and cream, zero sugar, natural and artificial strawberries and cream flavor, 12 fluid ounces, 355 milliliters, zero calories per can. Has the same thing on this side. Has SKU, some other codes in the crown logo. Other ingredients, carbonated water and less than 2% of caramel color, natural artificial flavors. Aspartame, isulfame, potassium, sodium benzoate reserve, phosphoric acid, caffeine, sodium phosphate, phenyl contains contains phenylalanine. Producer under the authority of Dr. Pepper slash Sodium Incorporated, 6425 Hall of Fame Lane, Frisco, Texas, 75034. Um, copyright 2023, Dr. Pepper slash Sodium Incorporated, caffeine content is 41 milligrams for 12 fluid ounces. So that's 41 milligrams caffeine in the entire can, so it'll give you a little bit of a boost of energy. Please recycle. Phone number is 1-888-377-3773, drpepper.com. Nutrition facts are says one can amount per starting calorie zero. Total fat, zero grams, zero percent. Sodium, 60 milligrams, three percent. Total carbohydrates, zero grams, zero percent. Total sugar, zero grams. Include zero grams, added sugar, zero percent. Protein, zero grams. So yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it right quick. I already showed you the top and the bottom, but um, anyway, shows the strawberry. Like the wavy design with the pink and the black like a swirl. Looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the original one, I like the canned version better than the bottled version. Because the canned version, like the flavor like stood out more. is like way more um, pungent, you know, flavor wise. Um, so the bottled version of this will probably be not as good as the canned version either. But I don't have the bottled version so I can't compare it to that. Um, but the original one, I like the canned version better, better than the bottle version. Um, because it's definitely more flavorful. And it's a little bit more carbonated, too. The bottle version was a little bit more flat, even though, you know, it's still, like, fresh, you know? Um, but yeah, this is out for a limited time only, so definitely be on the lookout for it and get it if you can find it. The zero sugar ones is a little bit harder to find than the um, normal version, because on Walmart's um, they got a lot in the original one, but um, not as much of the zero sugar one. Um, but they got in a lot um, a few days ago. That's when I got this. You know what I mean? Um, but they still had way more of the normal one than the zero sugar. But um, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire can. So now I'm gonna show off the can up close right quick. So hold on a minute. The zero sugar version of the strawberries and cream Dr Pepper soda. Similar can to the original one, except it has black and pink, like a wavy pattern. Silver top, silver tab. Production code. This is a different can than the one that I used in my review that I drank, you know. This filmed on the same day, though, after I actually did my review. It's like a different can. It shows a strawberry. Like the seeds and leaves. Other codes, the crown logo and the SKU. Other ingredients. 
distributor information and stuff. Now for the nutrition facts. Not a lot of stuff to show off on the can, but yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so now I'm going to finish my review, so hold on there. Okay, I show off the can up close, and I'm going to shake it up a teeny bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Try not to mess up talking and stuff. Normally, I normally mess up, you know, when I'm... I, like, wait a while to do new reviews, you know? This is my first review in, like, a week. So, yeah, I opened it, and the color looks the same as, like, the original one. Looks like a cola. Doesn't really look like original Dr. Pepper. Original Dr. Pepper looks a little bit more like a root beer, sort of, or like, um, like a dark drink. But this is, like, a light brown color. Um, looks the same as, like, Coke or something. Definitely the same color as, like, Coca-Cola. Like a light golden brown. It's a little bit carbonated. Definitely bubbly. Definitely... It's got a amount of carbonation in it. So, yeah. Anyway, the scent. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah. 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 Definitely smell the strawberry. Definitely smell the Dr. Pepper scent. But I don't know why, but I'm the original one. Um, even though it's like strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper. It actually tasted more like a strawberry chocolate sort of soda. Um... Spoiler warning, I already had one of these, and yeah, it tastes similar to the original one. Um, so yeah, it does have a little bit of like a chocolatey, strawberry scent. Um, I guess because of the Dr. Pepper, but um, I don't know why the Dr. Pepper makes it smell like chocolatey a little bit, but um, that's what it does anyway. Definitely reminds me of like a strawberry chocolate, um, like the Yoohoo I tried before. Um, definitely reminds me of that. Definitely a good, pungent, sweet strawberry scent. Uh, it's pretty evenly mixed with the Dr. Pepper, though, but, um, some of them are both about the same, but, um, the strawberry maybe a little bit more, though. Um, but, yeah, and that's probably about the taste, too, because normally, the original one, I, um, the taste of the strawberry was more than, like, the Dr. Pepper, you know? Like, definitely overpowered it. Um, but, um, anyway, now I'm going to try the zero sugar version, so here goes. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah really good for a zero sugar drink very flavorful and um the flavor really overpowers like the zero sugar taste normally the zero sugar drinks have like a weird aftertaste um but this one doesn't really have that zero sugar aftertaste so um this one's like really good pretty good carbonation it's pretty smooth though but i mean might can chug it if you want to but um <clears throat> Um, I don't know though. It's giving me already a little bit of burps. I can feel it inside me, you know. But, um, yeah, flavor wise, really similar to the original one. Um, I still really like the original one, but, um, yeah, it has way more sugar than this though. So I guess this one might be a little bit healthier, but, um, yeah, it has like the artificial, like, um, sweetener though, but, um, so it might not be as healthy, you know, but, um, or not really like a healthy drink, but, um, I guess it's like better for you than the original one though. Um, but yeah, even though, um, this is like a zero sugar version of the original one, it tastes really similar to the original version, but um, I still prefer the original one though. Um, it has a little bit more of like a stronger taste. Um, this one tastes similar, but, um, I don't know, it's not as like flavorful or not as strong flavor wise, but um, it still tastes similar though. Um, probably say it's about like 90% close to the original one. So if you really like the original one, you'll probably really like this. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know why, but yeah, it does have a little bit of, like, a chocolatey strawberry taste. I don't know if it's because of the Dr. Pepper or not, but, um, normally Dr. Pepper is, like, a weird spiced cola drink. Um, I like Dr. Pepper, but, um, it's not really the sodas that I really, really like, you know? Definitely prefer, like, Pepsi over Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper has a little bit of a weird taste. If you, like, drink more than one can, you know? Um, well, to me anyway, it, like, starts to taste weird. I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, um, original version of this and the zero sugar version doesn't really taste too much like Dr. Pepper to me. Um, definitely tastes more like a chocolatey taste, so yeah, so it's interesting. Um, but yeah, it's really good, definitely highly recommend it. I got a 12-pack at Walmart for like $6.48 before tax, so I'm $7 for a 12-pack, so I guess okay price, and could be a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, it tastes really good, definitely highly recommend it. It's really good for a zero sugar drink, definitely like a chocolatey strawberry soda, see what I mean? Um, probably say about maybe like, um, probably about 70% strawberry, maybe like only 30% Dr. Pepper. Um, strawberry definitely overpowers the Dr. Pepper taste, but, um, the smell's pretty evenly mixed though, but, um, taste definitely, the strawberry stands out more, see what I mean? 
Um, but yeah, definitely highly recommend it. You know what I'm going to give it, boys. You know what I'm going to give it. A really good zero sugar drink. So yeah, I'm going to give the new strawberries and cream zero sugar Dr. Pepper soda. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Oh yeah. Really good, especially for a zero sugar drink. It tastes pretty much just like the original one. Um, so yeah, maybe a little bit less flavor wise, but um, still pretty good though. See what I mean? So yeah, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's lit. So oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Anyway, so I'm out. Can reviews some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.